You know what? I was just thinking our connection's not great back here. Probably should have came back then. It's all right. It says we're live. Okay. We're hoping this is going to work. We're out in the back porch. We tried to do it in the living room. Then the kids were playing basketball um, out front. So we shut the windows, shut the windows, came back here, and now they're in the backyard playing volleyball. I mean, isn't that the way it usually goes? Okay, so sometimes when we're in this back porch, the uh, connection is not good. If you could be here all the time with me, sometimes yes. I have a hard time finding words. Um, so I'm hoping this works. Fingers crossed. Okay, I think it's working. So I wrote down some of the questions that were sent to us. And um, I don't know if we'll be able to get through all of these. We might be able to. And I didn't write down every single one, but I kind of went with the ones that were together. Um, or I had, the, there was one question that was asked the most, and I can't believe we haven't talked about this ever before. But um, I thought we would just go through these, and then I tried to put them in order. But, okay, for everybody, you guys know Matt, right? He's usually, he's on here sometimes, but not all the time. Hello, Gail. Okay, I can see... Hello. Yes. Yeah, so when you come in, say hello. And then I know this is working. Okay. So the first question is, um, did you both grow up in the area where we live right now? We did not. I grew up in a small town about an hour and a half south of here. So. And I've lived here all my life. So um, we'll get to how we met and everything. That was the number one question. So I have lived here all my life. Um, I was born here, and so I'm just worried about the connection, you guys. So, yes, but he has not. You've been here for a while, though. Yeah, since college. Yeah. So I've so. been here 25 years. Okay, Gosh. yeah. Yeah. Did you go to school together? We did not. Matt is five and a half years older than me. Five years graduation. Five and a half years older than me, so um, no. We actually did attend the same college, but at two different times, so we didn't know each other. Thank goodness, because Matt was a wild child, <laughs> and I don't know how things would have went if I would have met him back when he was in his college days, because... That's fun. You, he was fun. He was fun. So, um, okay, the number one question was, how long have we been married? Uh, 19 years. Yes, and you know what? We got married in 2000, and he was so happy, because then he said, it's really easy for me to remember how many years then. Every Genevieve week. is here. No. <laughs> Hi, Genevieve. Um, so we've been married 19 years. Yeah, 19 years. How did we meet? Going to be 19 years. Going to be 19 years in October. So we dated for two and a half years. That was another question. Two and a half years-ish before we got married. And so how did you meet was um, another biggest <laughs> question. Yeah. Um. So in college, uh, while I was at college, I went and applied to work at the Boys and Girls Club. And Matt was out of college and his first, was that your first job? That was my first full-time job. First full-time job was at the Boys and Girls Club. And what did you do there? I was a program supervisor. So I was uh, in charge of three of their core values. I don't remember what they were. I know one was sports, of course. <laughs> so, um, so you did like the activities? You Yes, after school activities, summer, day camp, stuff like that. And I just want, I applied just to be kind of a, I don't know what the name of it was, but I was just basically there to be with the kids while they did, Kim is here too, hey Kim, while they did the program. So I was just there kind of supervising, I guess, and interacting with the kids. And so Matt likes to say that he hired me <laughs> and that he was my boss. Technically, he probably would have been my boss. I was a lover. So, okay, but you didn't hire I'm me. I'm chain of command. I was your boss. Well, anyway, he didn't hire me. I interviewed with a different guy. Um, Matt didn't even come out to meet me out of his office. He just sat in his office. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, so that's how we met um, at the Boys and Girls Club. What was your first impression of each other? I thought he was a jerk because he didn't even come out and talk to me. But I really thought he was really cute, too, from in his, in his, look at him, in his office. Um, I, I didn't really get to meet Matt until um, one of my first days there. I was in, they had like a game room and Matt, I was, I think we were playing ping pong or something with the kids and Matt actually came in and then wanted to take me, play me in ping pong. And I think I won. 
<laughs> I think I won. But then he started asking all the, where do you hang out? What do you, you know, where, do, what do you guys like to do for fun? And all that kind of stuff. I was still in college. So, um, yeah. So he was just asking where we hung out and what we did. So that was, that was pretty much how we met. And yeah. You, okay. And we started hanging out from there and yeah. Yeah. And to be totally honest and transparent, after I met Matt, I think it was the ping pong table night. I did go home and my parents still talk about this. Um, I went home and I told my parents, I said, I've met the guy I'm going to marry. And so. I must have let you win. Yeah, I did win. I'm sure. I'm sure. No, he's pretty good, but I like to play too. Um, hey, that's Megan. Hey, Megan. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Megan, no stories here. <laughs> Okay, so the next question was, do you, so now it kind of got into flipping um, houses and stuff. So it, someone asked, do you have to have a license in restoration or realty to restore and sell? No, not here you don't. Um, I wouldn't say it's for anybody and everybody, but you don't have to have a special license in anything to, um, even your own home here. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> um, no, so even to sell your own home, I mean, we've sold, we, our first house we sold on our own and then, um, all our flip houses we have sold on our own. My dad was a realtor for a while, so that has helped us. And yes, yeah, so he is a great, he was a wealth of knowledge and that's how we've learned. And he also, um, he also flipped houses and that's how we kind of started. We helped him flip some of his and did the work. We were kind of the grunt labor just to learn. And so, but no, you don't need a special license or anything. Do you have anything to add to that? No. Matt's a man of little uh, words. People know me, they know that. But do you guys see what shirt he wore tonight? It is a very comfortable shirt. He loves these shirts. They're the, yes, they're the softest shirts ever. Okay. How many homes have you flipped? I'll let you. Uh, by ourselves? Uh, we have. By flip, ourselves, I think. Three. Right? And then we kept one, yes. the duplex. So we flipped three on our own. And, the and we kept one. We kept one. And I, I say that we flipped four because the duplex, it needed work. It the bottom tenant has been there since we bought the place. He's great. great. It's fine. Um, but the upstairs apartment, uh, um, bad. it was bad. And it had been vacant for a while. So we had to do a lot of work to that yeah. before we could open it up and have it rented out. So I say we flipped four. On our own. We have helped my dad do more, though. Worst find, another question, worst find ever in a flip house? I don't think there's anything overly that bad. Found some dog poop in some houses. Some it was cat poop. Cat poop. Yes. Cat poop. Um, the In the little house that we did, not this, the last one we did was the biggest house, but the little house, um, we always call them by where they are, but uh, on the street they're on. There was so much dog slobber inside the front window, but it was like caked on so it wasn't like wet and slobber. Mm -hmm. That was disgusting. And, and, they, and they ran it without any air filters in the furnace. So it was throughout the entire air ducts and everything. Yeah, it was just, it was everywhere. And also in that house, we found like a a mouse nest. I don't know. I Yeah. Um, underneath a cabinet we did not not find any mice but um uh well what, what else was I gonna say about that mouse nest I don't know and then in one of the houses we found <laughs> um adult magazines and like beer bottles where we knew the teenage boy stayed so um that was kind of funny we did in um our first flip house we found this ring and I found it like somewhere really weird I don't even remember where it was but it was like they hid it there. Like this was the, we finally like found the thing that was going to make us millions of dollars. And so we even went into the pawn shop to see how much it was worth. Nothing. The kids are so excited. I really thought we had hit the big, the big jackpot, but no. So we haven't really found anything really disgust. I mean, no dead bodies. When we went through this last one, everybody said, what was dead in there? All the flies. Nothing was dead. I just think they didn't clean. And I think it had been closed up. I think the garbage, there was nothing dead, but, um, yeah. Yeah. That's disgusting. Would you say, we've had, they've all been disgusting, but nothing really, you know, right? Nothing, yeah. I mean, that. they're nasty. They're nasty. I mean, that's the way we want to buy them is nasty, but, um, yeah, nothing too out of the craziness. 
How do you work together flipping but still maintain a happy relationship? And then I guess to go along with that, is it easy working with each other and do you guys have fun doing it? We love doing it. We do. We love it. Flipping is a lot of fun. It's something that we've had on a on our goal sh list for a long time. And then um, <clears throat> we reached some other goals. And so we were able to finally take the plunge and do it on our own. So that was exciting. Um, how do we work together? I think our, our biggest, um, what do I want to say, advantage is that we both know our roles in the flip houses. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I'm the laborer. <laughs> Wait, I, it, yeah i mean I you know i'm there with the whip and so i'm the one no, that carries the I whip around the ideas and, of what we can do and you kind of choose from there and then we go from yeah yeah from there so. so i think that really really helps if you're both trying to do the same thing that can i that can lead to a lot of uh yeah. and i don't think we have any i mean there now listen i don't want to ever portray that we oh yeah that it is rainbows and butterflies because what was it this lap, last flip house? Oh, so you had a guy come pick up all of the um, windows and the guy didn't want the glass, right? What? He didn't want the glass. They were all in the garage and he wanted the <laughs> metal wind. So the guy said. There you go. Yeah. So the guy said, uh, I'm just going to bust the windows in the garage. And so then I can take the metal. And Matt said, okay. Well, then we were going to recycle the metal. We didn't want to throw the uh, metal in the trash, so I was just helping things out. I was so there about are the things. Yes, there are the <laughs> things that, um, yes, a lot of times we are just. And I've learned I've just got to walk away, <laughs> and uh, just you know, just take a moment, or sometimes drive away. Like I've gotten in the car and just left. So um, it's not it's not easy, and it's not. But I, I think we work together, and since we both like it, you know, I, enjoy it. I don't feel like I'm, you know, dragging him along to do it. I'm, right? No. I think, no. you know what I'm saying? So. I love to learn. Yeah. Flip houses we, that you can learn it on other houses before you do it on your own. Yeah. And every flip house we've had to learn. New things. Something, right? Yeah. Okay, if you guys have any other questions or I'm not answering it well, or if you sent in these questions and you want more clarification, let me know. Um. Matt can't read it from here, but he didn't want to put on his glasses. And I'm getting to the point, you guys, where I'm like, I have to hold things way back. And those glasses I got, where are my glasses? I'm supposed to wear those blue, s they're down at my desk or something. They don't work if you don't wear them. Okay, so do you ever get on each other's nerves or dis disagree when doing projects? So I thought this one was more like when we're working on like a DIY project or yeah. something. Never. <laughs> No, um, same thing. It's the same thing. I think sometimes I have these grand ideas. One of the things that really upsets Matt or is uh, one of his pet peeves is when I make a to-do list. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her to-do lists are too big and, yeah, too much too soon. So just one thing at a time is fine. Yeah, so like for a weekend, you know, weekend projects, I'll write down... Ten things. That are like, he's like Lindsay. Ten hours each. <laughs> So unrealistic. Yeah. So that kind of stuff. So I have unrealistic, like, we can get this done tomorrow. And so, yeah. Would you say that's probably the most? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's probably the biggest thing. My expectations or what I think we can actually do. Okay. The next one. Well, let's just do this one for you. One was sent to Matt. Tips for having a beautiful garden and yard, which I thought this was a good one. Yeah. And again, this is something we've just learned along the way. Yeah, I love spending time in the yard. So one of the biggest things that I find helpful is free compost that you can get from the dump. So I usually get a truck of it, um, probably beginning of May, and I use, use pretty much a full truckload in our yard. So I put the compost down in the flower gardens but put, before I put any mulch. Um, we do have some areas that have rock, so I will scoop some mulch and put it right where the plant is. Scooch, so, scooch some rock, you mean? No, scooch the mulch, put the mulch where the plant is. Because you, know, you said you had rock in the yard. Well, I can't put, sorry, in our, some of our, in our back area. Yeah. We have the rock garden. Yes. I can't just throw mulch in there. So right. So just set mulch around the plant. Okay, so that helps like nurture the plant. Yes. So we have, in some of the areas, we have rock around our plants, like instead of mulch. 
And so if we plant something new inside there, then he, okay, you put the mulch around the plant. and Okay, to help nurture yeah, it. Yeah, we also do, we wait till May to do any gardening. I can't do anything. Like, no. I ha he nice comes day, to me. Mark, April 20th, we don't do anything because it's too soon. So we wait till May. He comes to me and asks for ideas or like, what do you think should go here or here? And so I'm like, well, this, but I can't touch any of it. I can't dig a hole. I can't um, put the plant in the hole. Like I just. Mm -hmm. we, also, we also save compost. So if we ever plant plants, we plant it with the compost. Mm -hmm. So we use that a lot. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit. He uses levels and um, tape measures Tape measures to make sure everything's level, which I'm not complaining. It's just so funny. We get a kick out of it. I love that he takes care of the outside and I can get to focus on the inside. Yeah. I wrote down these other things that you do. Oh. For buying plants and saving money on plants, we always buy plants at Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, we have a local grocery store. At the end of the season, when they're like literally 50 cents or a dollar, um, and he'll just put them in different areas in our yard to see if they'll thrive, right? Yeah. Or yard sales are always the best because people are trying to get rid of theirs for cheap. Plus, then you can talk to them about what they do when they bloom, where do they have it in their yard. So that's great tips because, yeah, sometimes the garden people might not know. Yes, and we have spent some time at some yard sales talking about plants. We have. <laughs> like, can I leave you here and I'll be right back? Yeah, that kind of, um, like, aerating the yard. So we aerate our yard um, our, about every other year So because it gets compact because the kids play on it a lot. So we like to aerate it, which is the, do they know what that means? Well, I don't know. What Where is they, that? A machine goes and puts little plugs into your yard. So it kind of. Little holes air, and it yeah. looks like dog poop all over your yard. <laughs> yeah. Golf courses and stuff do it. So it allows air into the yard. So we also do like the step four programs where you fertilize the yard in the March. Then you put another thing down in May, then summer, and then fall, so, yeah. And the air rating we've had, we've paid somebody to come and do it, and it's been like 50 bucks, and they do. He's thought about getting one, though. It's like 50 bucks to rent, so, He's thought know. that this time he might do it, right? Yeah, and then I can do your mom's yard. Yeah, so. that's true. Okay, and so mowing, that's, I love to mow, mm -hmm. but I want to make sure that you can see that I've mowed, but somebody likes to leave the mower blade up. Gotta keep the weeds down. So you got to keep your grass. I don't want to scald the, or whatever, yeah. buzz the yard, but you know. Okay, so is this the last one? This one is, okay. Okay, I think I forgot a thing in there. That's okay. Okay, so this these kind of all go together. Money-saving tips, how do you stick to a budget? And then what financial investment goals do you have for retirement? So to that question, yes, <laughs> we have we have retirement and everything. The reason we bought the duplex, that was part of a, a retire. That was an investment for retirement. Um, it's frustrating for me. Matt would like to get more rental properties, but I don't know. I don't know. I would have to. I don't know. So and we've got other yes retirement accounts and we don't put all of our stuff in one basket we see somebody and we talk about that stuff um so i'm trying to read no i know i was too yeah gail i can't read yeah that's okay she didn't okay. say anything she's just asking a question yeah. thanks gail <laughs> um so anyway uh so yeah retirement's good um money saving tips now you guys this question it came up a few times and how do you stick to a budget She's got a long list. So I could I talk about time. this, honestly, for, I mean, hours and hours because it's something that's so passionate to me, for me. Um, it's something that I've worked. I'm the Very saver. Hard. Yeah, she is. He is the spender. I do. It's always been that way. And so I have worked really hard. And there were some specific goals that I set um, for us. And sometimes I'd write them down and be like, no, and I didn't going to. And then I'd, we'd do it. Mm -hmm. Um so, so yeah, I just, I could, I could talk your ear off about this. So I just, I just wrote down a few things because, um, if you want more on this, you can ask me or we could do another one just about this, but, um, do you want to say anything? Well, I think the big one is the, the set of goal. Mm -hmm. You have to have a goal specific. You just can't say you plan on saving money. You've got to have specific goals of what you want to save for, what you want to get paid off and then work towards that. If you don't have the goal, then it's unachievable. Right. That was huge. And that really changed it for us. Um, 
we always said we're gonna save money and we're not gonna spend money on this and we're not gonna do that. And so once we started writing down the goals, like, okay, I want this paid off by this time. I want this much money in our savings account by this time. I want to, you know, whatever, save up this amount for a vacation, like set goals with timeline that you can, you know, then reassess every month or every two weeks or whenever you do your bills. So I think that's number one. I think, <clears throat> You're going to say something? No, go ahead. Okay. I think the second thing is to, well, first of all, if you're married, I think that you and your spouse need to get together and you need to be together on it. Because if, yeah, because if I'm saving and he's spending, it's, that's where I think a lot of, um, what do I want to say? Problems. Yeah. Happen in marriages. Like money is one of the most fought out over things in marriages. And so if you're not together and have the same goals, then I think that's, that's, that's like another first speed bump to get over. Your hat just keeps going right in front of us. So. Oh, that's right. okay. And so then I would say I, this was something that we've done for a long time. And I think this has made the biggest difference for us. Sit down and decide what you can live off of. So sit down and write down, and I have a free budget printable that we've used too, but anyway, um, sit down and write uh, what your goals are every month. Write them down and be honest. So if you're, um, and it's from insurance to a car payment to your mortgage to school loans, groceries, your light bill, um, and just if you can keep track of it for a month, are you going to Starbucks every day? Like everything that you're, yeah, for lunch. Are you ta are you going to lunch? Are you eating dinners out? Keep track of that for a month, just so you can see where you're at, and then go through and see what you could live <clears throat> live without, and it's not a necessity. And then decide what you can live off of. So Matt and I have always um, I don't know how to uh explain this. So we've always lived off of like his paycheck when he first. You've been there almost twenty years where you are now. 20 years in May. Yeah. So his paycheck is what I do all of the bills off of. And any time that he would get a raise, I mean, this within the last for a while, mm -hmm. we never added that to our budget. Does that make sense? So we, um, so we just lived off what he had made before. Does that make sense? Tell me if I'm making sense. Oh, I think mom's on here too. So we have just lived off what he has made before. So if he gets a raise, you know, so if you make $1,000 a month, we're just going to make this easy. And you know that you can live off of $800 a month, live off $800 a month. And then if you get a raise and you're making $1,200 a month, still live on the $800 a month. Do not. Okay. I'm making sense. Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know what's going on up here, but I don't know if I'm articulating it. Okay. So just keep it there. And so for years... Yes. Yeah. So we saved the extra. No. Well, in the beginning, no. The goals that I set was we wanted this paid off. We wanted this paid off, you know, and then we saved everything. So I wanted to be debt free. And so um, that's how what we did with the extra. We didn't live off of it, but we 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 paid down what we wanted to. And then you save save after that. OK, that made sense. Mm -hmm. Um and then another stick to a or set a budget and then stick to it. So after we had done that for a while, I really wanted to hone in on what we were spending and what we were spending it on and then kind of set a budget to that and then stick to it. And so that meant that Matt at work wasn't going out to lunch because that wasn't part of our, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't part of the One budget. Day a week. Oh, yes. I mean, you guys, I don't want you to feel like it was nothing and we never went out and got coffees or anything like that, but we really 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 wanted to reach these goals and we knew if we didn't stick to this that we that we wouldn't reach it coupons are a huge thing so if you don't there are so many coupon sites out there at, you said read what my mom said poor matt my mom always says that she's joking but um anyway so what was i saying coupons so there are so many sites out there that make it super easy um i could talk about coupons on on all a whole thing about coupons Shh, go ahead. Uh, what was I saying? I, I don't know what you were saying. <laughs> what were you thinking? 
Uh, Did you lose it? That's fine. Yeah, I lost it. Okay, and I always, I would do groceries and stuff. I would shop the sales, then I would pair that with coupons, and that's what we had for the week or the month or whatever. Um, oh, you can sign up for the text things, like Subway sends you coupons. Yeah. Yes, um, that's huge. All, all those restaurants yeah, do. So. Use their apps. Yep, if you have their app, then you, so that is how we would go out to eat or go to movies or Th those kinds of things. And so I would feel so good. Like there was a couple of times I would go to the CVS or Walgreens or Target and I would come home and I would have all this stuff on the table and I would say, it, it, the game around here was guess how much I spent. And so everybody would have to guess all the time with the coupons and then the cartwheel and then at Target or so. Um, so yeah, I love couponing. And so it, it's, it has saved us a ton of money. We're going to say something. Mm -hmm screen with you another big thing is organize and sell your things i talk about organizing all the time we do it all the time just because we have to but um sell things you're not using and put that money towards stuff you need to pay off or goals you want to reach okay do you want to say any of these oh we love thrift stores yes we love consignment stores we love yard sales yes so that's where we get a lot of stuff. A lot of things. And DIY, obviously yeah. that's what we do here and that's what started all of this. DIY whatever you can. Um, shop at the thrift store's yard sales to decorate you. We don't have to keep up with other people. No. Do our own thing. Yeah, he's going off in a different direction. Just, right. just a minute. No. Um, but yes, I don't have a post about the best coupon sites, but I could look up coupon blogs or... Um, yeah. Sometimes you can just Google it. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I meant. Yeah, look up that and see. There's some really good ones out there. And they make it so easy. Like, they will just say, at Target this week, this is what is on sale. And if you pair this with this coupon, you're getting it free. Or literally, that's what I did and, and still do. So, um, and the Ibotta app, yes, that's good. We used to, what was that one that we used to? The cyclone joined. Yeah, the cyclone, that, the vet. Yeah, she came... Um, he's just noticed Cyclone Vet. Cyclone anything, he's going to notice. <laughs> he can't read any of your comments, and your names are all the same size. But Cyclone, we, we saw that real quick. We did. <laughs> um, oh, now what was I saying? I don't know. Okay. Move on. Okay. <laughs> she just said hello. Okay. Okay, another thing is drive older cars. Just because your friends are buying brand new cars every two years doesn't mean you need a brand new car every two year, two years. Just because they're building homes and buying new homes doesn't mean uh, that you need to do that. That was one thing I, I'm, I feel that we were lucky about because Matt and I were on the same page. As soon as we started, bought this house. Yes, exactly. The whole keeping up with the Jones, Joneses thing is not... It's Us. not our mojo at all. And it never has been, which I'm so thankful for because I do not have the energy or the time <laughs> to keep up with that. And um, at the end of the day, they're not paying my bills and they're not seeing me retired or paying for my retirement. So I don't, I don't care. I was going to say something else. So y you do you and whatever you can afford and wherever you're comfortable, that's what, oh my gosh. Alicia, did you mean to hit that? Uh-oh. What'd she do? She said, send a request to be in your live video. <laughs> okay. So, um, what else did I want to say? Okay. And so then things for like, I, questions I get are like vacations and bigger purchases and things like that. Plan ahead for them. Mm -hmm. We never went on, when our kids were little, we did not go on fancy, not that we go on fancy vacations now, but um, we didn't go to fancy vacations. Our kids were happy going to a hotel pool like literally could have drove them down the street and stayed the night in a hotel pool and they were happy so um but if if you're there's a fancier vacation or something else you want to do just plan ahead for those and then when you're saving that money those are the things that you're saving for take lunches to work that's obvious um and wait to buy here's another one bye genevieve um, here's another one. Wait to buy things. So if you're at a store and you think you need something, go home. Just go home. And then if you're still thinking about it in a three to five days, then go back and get it. It'll be on sale. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Like, just wait at Target. Yeah, wait a month and everything will be on sale. Yeah, so true. Or you'll find it at a sale in six months. Yeah, at a yard sale. 
or a thrift store, and I've showed that on here before, that I've gone to Target or TJ Maxx and shown you guys something and then went to a thrift store afterwards and pretty much found the same thing. So I have, like, there's a long list of stuff that I wrote here, but I won't go over any more of that. Did I answer? Did we answer everything? I think we went for everything pretty quick. Um, I think that's everything. Do you guys have any other questions or... Uh, or want me to go over anything else or what else? What? <laughs> no, it's fine. At least I've done that before many times, many times. And then it's like, X me out of there. I didn't mean to hit that. It's so, yeah, yeah. I should have. You should have what? Are you going to answer that? No, oh, I'll let you. Go yeah. No. So anyway, yeah, let me. I know. So let's ask a question to Matt. <laughs> no, right. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just want to make sure. Did we, did we answer all these best coupon sites? I don't think you just did. You don't think I did? No. Okay. I think we got all the questions. Okay. You guys, this was fun. We can come on again and do this sometime. If you have any other questions. Oh, how do you juggle your time between hobbies and business? That's hard. But it's kind of nice now because my hobby is has become my business. So it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. It's your passion. It is. Yeah. So it's kind of, I mean, before I did this, I was I had an in-home daycare here. Um, after I was a daycare director, we had our kids. I wanted to stay home. Then friends started calling me and saying, would you just watch my kid for an afternoon? or a, And then it turned into a full-time thing, which was great. It worked out really great. Um, but... Um, oh good, here comes the questions. But what was I saying? So I was doing that full time and then it was nights and weekends that I was doing the blog and our projects and all that. So it was, and it just got to be a po the point where I couldn't juggle both and still have my family wanna be around me and love me. So I had to give up the daycare, but now it's, it's more, I've got more time. So during the day I can work on projects and um, doing the flip houses and stuff, so. And then we enjoy doing these things together. We Got do. The garage, doing the projects. That's kind of like our hobby, like what we want to do. And it's, yeah, that's very true. Yeah, and everybody always yeah. says, yeah, I'm so, you're so lucky. And I am, and I tell him that all the time. I am so, could you imagine me trying to do all this and he didn't like to do it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not forced to do And it. let's just tell them, you didn't know how to do any of this stuff. Did not. He no. came from a family where his dad is a coach and a teacher and his mom works at the school and his dad is all about sports, obviously. <laughs> all about sports. And that's all they did. I mean, that's all they did. They played sports. They it's went still to... All we do. He yes, does. that's all. Yeah. It's still, so he didn't even know how to swing a hammer. I mean, my and my dad, I grew up with a dad that knew how to do all those things. And so when my dad saw him swing a hammer for the first... He was like, oh my. It's like one of those tiny tack hammers. Yeah, he's like, well, we've got little kids hammers over here. Yeah, it was just, it was so funny. And so my dad taught him everything. I mean, he's learned doing things too, but my dad had to teach him a lot of things. So, okay. Would you recommend Dixie Bell paint on kitchen cabinets? And if so, how much would you need for a small kitchen? I would recommend, I mean, I love Dixie Bell paint. I love the way it covers. I would definitely... Uh, tell you to, oh no, that was Dutch wire sinking. Did I do D Dixie Bell paint in the flip house? No, I would definitely tell you to sand and, um, prime for sure. I don't know what the cabinets look like, but just, just to get, usually Dixie Bell paint, the reason I love using it is you don't have to prep anything. So it's, it's usually you can just paint right over whatever it is. It covers so well. There are some pieces and I've shared it here that I use the boss and all that on it, but um, I would definitely tell you to do those things just to prep it for paint. And how much would you need for a small kitchen? I mean, we did our kitchen, was it one gallon? Yeah, we did. For our kitchen, we have a small kitchen and I've shared one, it on the- A gallon of primer. The well, pr gallon. yeah, primer first and then, and they do sell it in the gallons. So you, you, and you might have to reach out to them. I think they sell it in the gallons. I think so. Did both of you always love thrifting and garage selling or did one of you sway the other? So I grew up, my mom, if she's still here, I grew up with a mom who is the thriftiest person I know. Um, and so she's taught me a lot and she would take us to thrift stores and I don't remember yard sales so much when I was little, 
But then I went through a stage where I was like, this is so embarrassing. Like, I do not want any of my friends to know we are shopping here. And then, um, I think it was after, or pro no, in high school, I was actually shopping in a thrift store for a couch up in my upstairs bedroom. So in high school, then I was shopping at thrift stores. And then when I met Matt, and he actually told me him and his college friends went to thrift stores. I was we like, did. garage sales. We did. Did you even go to garage sales too? Yeah. We had random stuff. Yeah. You never know what you needed for your, your Yes. Pad. Oh my gosh. So I was like, are you kidding me? And here's the other best he, the guy likes to shop probably more than I do. He his family has always shopped. Mine Always vacation was centered around it. No. I See, always had to go to the mall. Yeah, no. My family was not We were at my mom was at thrift stores and if we had to and see, see, and his family was all about new shoes and new, and it was like, well, if you want those fancy basketball shoes, you're going to have to buy those fancy basketball shoes for me. So we kind of came from two different things, but yeah, we both have always loved it. So he's, uh, he's a shopper, which it's fun. Okay. Black Friday. Thank you. The trips to Target are a favorite. <laughs> yeah, because... Yes, I love them. I love going through Target. You don't have to buy anything, but just to check things out. How do you ever prepare for all the school year expenses? So that's, yeah, that's a good one. Um, you buy the uh, school supplies now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've always done. And I shared that, um, oh yeah, I shared that on uh, on an Instagram when I was in Target last week or whatever. I Our kids are now to the point where it's iPads, so they don't have a ton of school supplies. But every year when they were little, every year I would be at Target as soon as that stuff went on sale and I would like, I mean, 50% off is great. And some of the things that I knew wouldn't last till 70 or 90% I'd grab, but I would grab as much of that stuff as I could. And at the end of the year, and then the same for clothing, our kids, when they were littler, you could kind of plan ahead. Now they're growing so much faster. You can't do that. But, um, but yeah. And then we we'll always use those school supplies for the year, too. Yeah, so. like especially Gabrielle when we needed crayons and markers and all that. And then when they come home and somebody has taken all their crayons or all their markers, then I know I've spent 25 cents on an extra box, so it's not, it's not a lot. Um, so that's, yeah, that's, those are some things that we've done over the years to save on school supplies and school clothes. Do you have anything to add, Matt? What am I forgetting? I know you have a lot to say, so I'm just going to be quiet for a little bit. Most people know me. They don't have a lot to say. <laughs> if you know Matt, yeah, he's he's a quiet guy. So, okay, I think we've an answered all the questions. How long has it been? I, there's not a time on here? Well, no, you don't have to get up and look. I just wondered. I thought it was set it up here somewhere. Okay, so maybe we'll do this again. I don't know, once a month or once every two weeks or something. We'll get Matt to get on here and talk about basketball drills and See, oh, that, see, I would start talking about it. See, that's the thing. It, everybody's like, he doesn't talk or he doesn't. No, but if you want to talk about a sporting event or fantasy sports football. or fantasy football, the guy will not be quiet about it. So if you've got some sports questions, send those next time. But, Please do. Um, okay. Or if you have some tools, tool questions or some DIY questions. What or tools like the most? Sure. Yeah. Or anything like that. Yeah, send them our way. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. This all went right. okay. I didn't know how it was going to go. We did all right. We did all right. And it I worked. Survived. And Matt said, oh, does Matt think the hammock video is as funny as we do? <laughs> well, the sad thing is, is she got me like 10 seconds too late. I've already been doing that for 10 seconds trying to get up. So, um, yeah. Matt, I got it at one of the good points. And no, I think, I did I know, save I that? that? Like five seconds earlier. And so. Oh, I think I saved that. You guys, did I save that in the family highlight? It was an ab workout. I was trying to hold it there for about a minute. It's so funny because... Yeah, okay, Matt. They say you might not talk a lot about your facial expressions. Oh, yeah, I do. So have... since I've known him, he's never talked a lot. So I feel like I'm do talking for both of us all the time. So, yeah, um, I and I always have something to say and talk about. So I am, uh, I think I saved that. That's in our family highlight. I have to show Matt. That was the best thing. I literally came out of the back porch, walked down, and saw he was struggling and thought, I just got to push record because this could be really good. Yeah. If you guys need a laugh with Matt, check out the family highlight. And speaking of highlights, I never remember to put anything in there. I got to fix that. Okay, guys. I think there's a little, like, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. So then I, I don't want to... Um,
leave and somebody, leave and somebody send questions. some questions because I don't know. Can you see comments? After I don't email? know. I I don't know if I can see comments. The one thing I like about Facebook Lives is that they just stay in Facebook, but this will only last 24 hours, I think. Unless you guys know something different, please message me. I don't know if I can save this somewhere or how I save it. So, but I mean, it's not going to stop me from doing these, but yeah. Okay. And if, if I can't see your questions here, <laughs> sorry, I am getting off. If I can't see your questions here, just DM me and I will get to your questions or I can save them until next time. Okay. Okay. Now I'm getting off for real. Okay. We're going. Okay. Have a good night. Goodbye.